Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back. Today we are back over here at Disney Springs continuing our guided tour throughout each of the sections over here. The last time we were here, we explored the west side. I told you guys all about the west side portion of Disney Springs. Today we are going to be focused on the landing. The landing is probably the smallest section here at Disney Springs, but this is where a lot of the restaurants are going to be. A lot of the good restaurants at Disney Springs right here in the landing, which I'll be showing you guys today. If you haven't seen the video where I show you guys the west side and you guys want to learn about the west side part of disney springs go check that video out all right so last time we went down this way this is the way to the west side we're going to turn around and go on this bridge and this is how you get to the landing so once you cross this bridge you're officially in the landing so when we cross over the bridge if we look to our left we're going to have a couple of italian restaurants First up is Marie and Enzo's and actually connected to Marie and Enzo's there's actually a little pizzeria that a lot of people don't know about. Now this place probably has the best pizza at Disney Springs. They're huge, huge slices. That's the actual size of the pizza. And if you guys have ever been to Via Napoli over at Epcot, these are the same people that run that restaurant. And then on the opposite side of Marie and Enzo's is actually STK. Um, I believe they have these at different places around uh, the world. This is owned by Gordon Ramsay. But going back to Marie and Enzo, something that's pretty cool about this restaurant, there's actually another portion of this restaurant. It's actually a hideaway kind of speakeasy sort of bar. But you don't get to it by going through the normal entrance. You actually have to go around. You actually follow this pathway down over here down the stairs and you see this thing right here it says enzo's hideaway tunnel bar and restaurant and it's back over here through this tunnel enzo's hideaway so i believe this is like themed around the old speakeasies and the prohibition era in the early 1900s so pretty cool not a lot of people know about this down here so a cool little hidden restaurant all right going back up the stairs we'll continue our way down it's pretty much the landing is pretty much this whole strip straight down and it's pretty much going to be all restaurants passing Marie and Enzo's to the right is the Edison and let's take a look inside here it's actually a pretty cool restaurant the really cool theme in here definitely has that early 1900s vibe to it there's actually a downstairs portion if you look down over there and there also is a live music at the Edison but usually that doesn't start till six o'clock she said and the Edison and Marie and Enzo's are connected they are owned by the same people so three pretty unique restaurants right over here in this section um, and continuing down we've got a pretty fun restaurant Paradiso 37 this has been here for a long time this is food inspired by the Latin culture of North Central and South America I've actually been here a few times and it's really good definitely recommend this on the right side over here we we do have a few shops this is actually an interesting shop this is called the art of shaving and you can actually come over here and get a haircut and a shave and then just connected to that is another store it's called Sanook I believe that they have these in different malls but uh, this is just basically a, a shoe store and then connected to that the ganachery this is a chocolate shop so in here they have some really fancy chocolates and they actually make the chocolate right in here So if you love chocolate, this is definitely a place that you should hit. Connected to that place is the Savannah Bee Company. Now this has to deal with like all sorts of honey. They have like honey soap. They have like a whole raw honeycomb that you can purchase here. They have other things too like soap and scrubs, things like that. Over here, just next to that is the Oakley store, your basic Oakley store that you'll find in uh, any mall. And then last down this row is Gideon's Bakehouse. Now this is a very, very popular place. Here they've got cookies, cakes, iced coffee, and the cookies here are actually massive. Huge, huge cookies that probably three people could eat. So it's a very, very unique, unique place. 
just to the opposite side of that i show you guys something now usually this right here is a dock for the sasagula steamboat company so over here you can actually take boats to and from a couple disney resorts so you can take this to port orleans uh to old key west as well as saratoga springs right now this dock is closed but usually during normal times this would be open over here there is the jock Lindsay's hangar bar now this is a bar that is themed to indiana jones i don't drink so i don't come into bars but from what i've heard this is a really cool bar they have a lot of cool specialty drinks that you can get then right here gideon's bakehouse is right there to the right over here we have a another restaurant this is called wine bar george down at the bottom of wine bar george there is a little spot where you can get some things like wine some meats and cheeses um, and that's pretty much what they have inside the restaurant as well and if we continue down we pass our first stage here at disney springs now there's a couple different stages at this stage at nighttime you can see that there is some light set up over there at nighttime uh, there will be performances here dancers singers all kinds of different entertainment that you can check out there's benches a great place to sit during the day as well there's also actually another dessert place this is called vivoli il gelato so of course they have all kinds of different gelato flavors you can get over here they also have some coffee as well as some baked goods now down over here is one of the most popular is, is one of the coolest things that you can do here at disney springs these things right here are called amphicars and this is ran by the boathouse the boathouse is a restaurant in itself this this restaurant is really really good one of the best restaurants at disney springs featuring seafood of course now these cars right here these are ample cars they actually run on on land as well as in the water so you can actually rent one of these and a driver will take you out onto lake buena vista over there for a certain amount of time now it is pretty expensive to do this but it's pretty cool you know kids love to come over here to the rails and watch the cars just go out onto the water the boathouse has the restaurant and it also does have the store boathouse store just on the opposite side of that we have joffrey's coffee so you come over here get coffee tea smoothies joffrey's is actually the coffee that you will find throughout disney world you'll find starbucks in certain locations and joffrey's throughout a whole bunch of different locations all throughout disney continuing down we are going to run into a few stores to the left we run into a store called javianas these this store pretty much just has flip-flops they sell flip-flops over here on the opposite side of that is chapel hats chapel hats is a really cool spot um if you love crazy hats they have all kinds of hats any hat that you want top hats fedoras any any sort of hat you want you'll find it here at chapel hats as we keep going we do have a bakery this is erin mckenna's bakery um they have cupcakes brownies donuts cinnamon rolls all sorts of things here at this bakery and walking past down this way over here to the right we have terralina italiana it's an italian spot that you can come to it's actually pretty good i've been here before and this will be the end of the landing on this side when we go past this way we'll be headed into the marketplace so we're actually going to go this way to the the left over here we have happy hound this is a little store where you can come and get uh, your dog some souvenirs while you're here at disney world and then we keep going down this pathway over here to the right this is called cooks of dublin this is going to be a quick service restaurant featuring irish style food apparently they have famous fish and chips here this is actually one of three restaurants that are connected right here it's all the same people so in the middle right here we have the hole in the wall this is going to be just pretty much a bar where you can get some beer some irish beer and then the third and final piece is actually raglan road raglan road is an irish restaurant it also does have its own shop right here but take a look at the line for gideon's bakehouse i told you guys that this was a very very popular spot check out the line back when this opened this line would be way longer all right guys and coming up on our first and i believe only asian restaurant here at disney springs but it's very very popular from what i've heard it's very very good it's called morimoto asia in this whole big spot this is morimoto asia they do have a quick service location down over here it's called the morimoto street food so if, in case you want to get a taste of morimoto but you don't want to actually sit down in there for dinner or for actual table service come down here to the street food 
and then to the left over here is going to be our last restaurant here in the landing this is chef artsmith's homecoming now this is probably my favorite restaurant here at Disney Springs. It's Southern food. If you like Southern food, you definitely gotta come over here to Chef R. Smith's. They also do have famous moonshine. So in case you like a moonshine, definitely give this place a try. And they do have a Southern brunch Saturday and Sunday from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. And that pretty much concludes all of the landing. I showed you guys all the restaurants everywhere over here. If we go this way, we'll be headed into the town center. And I told you guys, if we continue down that way, that'll be the marketplace. All right, guys, but two sections down, two to go here at Disney Springs. We still got to do the marketplace and the town center. The town center is probably going to be the biggest because it's the biggest area. But if you are enjoying these videos, go ahead and leave it a like down below. Share it to somebody new who hasn't been over here to Disney Springs or that just wants to learn about it a little bit more. If you guys are new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. I'll be back with more videos soon. Thank you all very much for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.